friends, it's Father Laggio speaking to you from the Temple of the Queen of the Lilies in San Giorgio Cremano, Naples, Italy. Benedict VI states at the very beginning of his message for the Peace World Day, which will take place on January 1st, 2013, reminded us that every new year brings with it the expectation of a better world. And despite the negative aspects of the phenomenon positive in itself of the globalization, the tensions originated by the increasingly inequality between rich and poor, the bloody conflicts, threats of war, and the anguish caused by the scourge of terrorism and religious fanaticism, the many different efforts at peacemaking which abound our world testify to mankind's innate vocation to peace. In every person, the desire for peace is an essential aspiration which coincides in a certain way with the desire for a full, happy, and successful human life. For Benedict XVI, peace is, at the same time, God's gift and the fruit of human effort. That's why the Pope, in writing the message, chose to be inspired by the Beatitude proclaimed by Jesus, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. With this beatitude, Jesus says to those who accept to be enlightened by the light of faith in believing God, that not only in the next life, but already in this life, they will discover that they are children of God, and that God has always been and never will be completely on their side. They will understand that they are not alone, because he is on the side of those committed to truth, justice, and love. In fact, with the gift of rebirth by water and the spirit, the baptism given to us by the merits of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, the man got the joyful experience of an immense gift. The sharing of God's own life, the life of grace, the pledge of a fully blessed existence, when a man opens his heart to the gift of faith, begins on a spiritual level, a slow but steady evolutionary process that at the end will also involve the body. In fact, as the Holy Father states, God himself, through the incarnation of his son and his work of redemption, has entered into history and has brought about a new creation, a new covenant between God and man. Thus, enabling us to have a new heart and a new spirit. This rebirth gives man a new vision of history and a new superior way of acting that, according to the Holy Father, has got these features, compassion, solidarity, courage, and perseverance. Jesus Christ, in particular, grants us true peace which is born of the trusting encounter of man with God. In this way, the Christians, just as sons in the sun, become peacemakers. Because peace is not a dream or something Ethiopian. It is possible. For this reason, peacemakers will commit themselves in defending and promoting human life in all its dimensions, personal, communitarian, and transcendent. Life, in its fullness, is the height of peace. Anyone who loves peace cannot tolerate attacks and crimes against life. Peacemakers will commit themselves in defending the natural structure of marriage as the union of a man and a woman, in the face of attempts to make it juridically equivalent to radically different types of union. Such attempts actually harm and help to destabilize marriage, obscuring its specific nature and its indispensable role in society. These principles, states the Holy Father, are not truths of faith, nor are they simply a corollary of the right to religious freedom. They are inscribed in human nature itself, accessible to reason, and thus common to all humanity. That's why the peacemakers will commit themselves in the dismantling of the dictatorship of relativisms. 
and of the supposition of a completely autonomous morality, which precludes acknowledgement of the ineluctable natural moral rule inscribed by God upon the conscience of every man and woman. Peacemakers will commit themselves in defending the right to war. In this regard, I will reaffirm, says the Holy Father, that human dignity and economic, social and political factors demand that we continue to prioritize the goal of access to steady employment for everyone. Peacemakers will commit themselves in collaborating with people, groups, and institutions which will promote life by fostering human creativity in order to draw from the crisis itself an opportunity for discernment and for a new economic model. Peacemakers will commit themselves in collaborating with families, religious communities, and cultural institutions, schools, and universities to educate for peace. Peacemakers will commit themselves in order to promote a pedagogy of peace. There is a need then to teach people to love one another, to cultivate peace and to live with good will rather than mere tolerance. A fundamental encouragement to this is, according to the Holy Father, to say not to revenge, to recognize injustice, to accept apologies without looking for them, and finally, to forgive in such a way that mistakes and offenses can be acknowledged in truth so as to move forward together towards reconciliation. This requires the growth of a pedagogy of power, even, in fact, is overcome by good. And justice is to be sought in imitating God the Father who loves all his children, dear friends, Let's help Jesus, the Prince of Peace, in bringing to this our postmodern world the joy of living as brothers and sons of God. It's over. Let me wish you once again a happy new year, and God bless you always.